As everybody who has drawn out any sort of plan knows, dimensions are one of the most vital parts of a plan drawing. From a ten-year-old's drawing plans for a lemonade stand, to a senior engineer creating plans for a nuclear power plant, these dimensions are critical for the successful build of the project. They tell a person who's making the project exactly how big or small parts need to be and where they need to be placed to work properly. MicroStation has included several tools to make this process as pleasant as possible. Dimensions can generally be broken up into three types. Linear dimension shows the linear distance from one point to another, which is often the length of an element. Angular dimension shows the angle defined by two linear elements or two portions of the same element. Radial dimension shows the radius or diameter of a circular element. Linear dimensions can be further broken up as a single element dimension, a chain dimension, which is a series of dimensions, a stacked dimension, or ordinate dimension. We will show examples of each of these in this video. Before we begin showing each of the dimension types, we want to talk about the anatomy of a dimension. The line at the bottom of the screen is what we are dimensioning. The line that is vertical on the left is called the start extension. The line on the right is the end extension. The gap between the start extension and the element that we're trying to dimension is called the offset. The line that the text sits on is the dimension line. At the end of the dimension line is the left terminator and the right terminator. In this case, both arrows. The text itself can be sized in many different ways and can include a frame, which is either a box or a capsule, around the text. We'll talk a little bit more about the makeup of a dimension when we look at the dimension styles. For this video, we've created a simple closed shape with a circle inside. We will use these elements to demonstrate the different dimension types. The first dimension tool is Dimension Element. Select the Dimension Element tool, click on an element, and define the height. You can do this for any portion or segment of an element. Notice that the Dimension Element tool works both for linear elements as well as circular elements. 